Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. Today we're going to talk about my review on Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Now I know that everyone has an opinion on this film and it took me a while to get this one on paper. The question of am I a huge fan of Star Wars? Nope, just the opposite. I'm a huge fan of Star Trek. But I always love the lore and action and I own every single movie so far. I could never quite get into Star Wars. Since I was a child, the three original were already on television. Plus, watching them out of order doesn't make things better. When I watched Return of the Jedi, I absolutely loved it, with all its action and adventure. And then I watched the first one, where I was bored to tears, and then the second one, where the bad guy wins. It was all just weird to me except for Return of the Jedi which had badass action. With the story of Darth Vader, that was just too similar to the original from beginning to its tragic end. I was very hopeful when J.J. Abrams took over the directing roles for the newly bought Disney version of the film. Abrams did a fantastic job when evolving Star Trek for taking chances and breaking the mold. Star Wars, not so much. I felt that Abrams fell into giving what the fans wanted and made the film exactly like the originals, with better action and special effects, but not taking the risk or chance to upset the fan base with Force Awakens. Maybe he too was too much of a fan himself to really try something different. After the second disaster film in Last Jedi, I felt that Rise of Skywalker was pretty much the apology that the trilogy needed. Just a bit too late. Rise of Skywalker, much like Return of Jedi, will give you the action blockbuster with all the action and adventure a summer blockbuster would give you on this movie. Story, not so much. Just kill bad guys and we win. That's the story and find out who you are along the way. I actually like the film a lot. It said goodbye to the older characters and had the usual char Star Wars usually has in their films. The action was good, with the character even pointing jokes at themselves and the series at times as well. The film could have been made over two or three films, but this was the third one and the last one, so we gotta cram everything in. They could have fleshed out the characters more, but then the film wouldn't move on. You could only do about two characters to flesh out, and that was Daisy Ridley as Rey and Adam Driver as Kylo Ren. I felt both did a great job in their inner thought battles with one another and torment both had to overcome. A bit too quickly, but like I said, last film to wrap up, wrap things up. And by the way, another pet peeve of mine, when are the stormtroopers going to learn that the armor does nothing to laser blast. I mean, they go down with one shot. Overall, if you like action and a wisecrack comedy and your fanfare of sci-fi, you probably will be happy with the film as you are properly entertained. If you are a hardcore fan and know everything about the lore of Star Wars, you're probably going to hate it. I still believe that Rogue One is the best Star Wars film I've ever watched because it doesn't really follow the Star Wars theme or guidelines. That's the direction the brand needs to go. I give this film an 8 out of 10 for its great action sequences and special effects. What happened in the end? The good guys win, and the bad guys lose. This is an action-adventure film well done. Now, let's finally explore Knights of the Old Republic and start brand new. That's it for me on this episode, so please like and subscribe if you like my videos. 
Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here. Damn.